So let's look at this question. Explain why DNA must be replicated before mitosis and the role of helicase in DNA replication. As you can see, I've highlighted the key words, mitosis as well as helicase. So the first thing that we want to do is define what mitosis is. Well, what it does is that it is cell division and it results in two genetically identical cells. That's very important. And because of this, because these cells are identical, the DNA information in there must be identical as well. So two identical strands of DNA are produced after DNA replication. So we've talked briefly about mitosis, so now it's time to talk about helicase. And as you've seen, I've put down that there are two main functions of helicase. The first is that helicase is involved in breaking down the double helix bonds, or the double helix, rather, the double helix structure of DNA. And this is achieved via breaking of the hydrogen bonds. So the hydrogen bonds that exist between the nitrogenous bases, those are broken apart and therefore the double helix structure is broken down. So after you've broken down the the double helix structure, it also unwinds the, the double helix structure. Um, this allows the strands to be separated for DNA replication. And what this means is that uh, initially you have a double-stranded um, DNA molecule, and then you have you now have two single-stranded molecules after the separation, and that is what is required for mitosis.